Woo! Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, it's, I can't even remember the date. It is another windy November day. November has been a real wash. All I'm doing is rescheduling. But I'm here at the boat ramp this morning. And two days ago, look how I'm dressed. Fleece pants, hood, the whole nine yards. And I believe it was two days ago we set a record in Jacksonville, Florida for it being 85 degrees on that day. It was the warmest day since 1942 or something like that. Tomorrow, and even probably this afternoon, 15 to 25 knots is what they're saying. So I was supposed to go tomorrow. What am I doing again? Rescheduling a good customer, regular customer, old Dr. Mike, he's a veterinarian. I think this will be his fourth or fifth reschedule. So it's totally amazing that the fa my favorite month of the entire year, I love November, has been a total wash weather-wise and everything else-wise. You know, the unity of our nation. Everything else, everything. I guess the only good thing is there's coming out with all these vaccines. So I'll get some of my regular customers back. Like good old Traveler Bob. I'm gonna try to go to the south side of the South Jetty on a rising tide. So let's see if I'm gonna get any footage from today. So hopefully I'll see you guys later. Grits ain't groceries, that ain't supper. Mayport Jetties. Another fine day in Northeast Florida. All right, Amy's got one on. Got one on. Who let them dogs out? <laughs> Keep it tight, Mon. Keep it tight. Okay, we're doing net cam. The world famous net cam. Oh yeah, nice redfish. Look at this, beautiful redfish. That's, that's the big one too. Yep, Brutus T. Red Bass. He's a junkyard dog. Okay, turn with, turn him. Turn them, or turn your body. There you go. Oh yeah, nice fish. Fish? 
this is the reason we come out here. This is the reason we come out here. <laughs> now I think this is going to be too big to keep. You got, they got to be under 27 inches. that steady pressure on. Take it while he's good. You gotta get him while he's hot. Get him while he's hot. Belly's get tired. Okay, lift up. Reel down. Lift up. Reel down. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Nice and easy. Just hold him there. even bigger than I thought he was. You definitely gonna get a picture holding that. Oh yeah, look at this. Perfect hook set. On the knocker rig and a live shrimp. Alright. Okay, throw that whole thing just open side. Let it just hang. Alright folks. 15 pounder. 15 pounder. <laughs> It's a hell of a catch right there now. Hell of a catch.
fish in the mill pond. This is the mill pond up in Wisconsin. <laughs> and we lost one bigger than this earlier. Lost one bigger. In the box. Alright, so we're finishing up in here where it's nice and calm and you can actually stand up in the boat. We were just saying, I hope that footage of rounding the, the green can on the South Jetty, I hope it turns out because my God, it was just like yesterday. But a little worse, a little worse yesterday during the burial at sea. <coughs> I have never been in water that rough in a while. So today was a piece of cake. Amy had a big trout that got off on the side of the boat. Alright, guess what Amy just caught? Kind of what I was thinking when I came in here. Yellow mouth trout, aka weak fish. They should be a whole bunch of them back behind the boat. know she was a hot rod till today. Alrighty, guess what? I'm home and I'm cleaning up the boat or let me say desalting the boat. Desalting the tackle. My goodness. Well, we could have stayed over there on the south side of the South Jetty for a while, but I sided with caution because I had no earthly idea really how more the wind was going to be blowing or whatever but as you can see we went inshore up in the river and we ended up uh, finishing up the day up there with a couple more good fish boy I'll tell you Amy lost a big trout on the side of the boat big big and I mean she was the hot rod today so that's just a little midweek thing it's gorgeous out right now and they're still calling for 20 to 25 tomorrow 20 to 25 in the river is still pretty heinous so I might again side with caution and take out old Dr. Mike and his son next Tuesday or Wednesday because we're going to have a fallen tide and we just might be able to get on the black drum. Need that fallen tide, that last of that fallen tide, so I can try to concentrate on that black drum. But then again, I'll be float rig fishing here real soon, hopefully. I usually start right around getting serious about it about Thanksgiving because that's when it's about right. Thanksgiving to the uh, 
the first week of May. So thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, always look in the description, video description below, uh, for more links and information. And that's about it. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, PBR lovers.